Here's another kind of a nice thing. We have been fooling around in Illustrator, but I'm going to show you a couple of great things that we can do for illustration styles in uh, Photoshop now. So what I've got here is a drawing that I had done with marker and scanned it in. So this is how to work with scanned artwork and use it in Photoshop to uh, create something that works pretty well. Um, a doodle like this, you don't have to uh, knock yourself out if you're not a great artist, but have some fun with these things. Um, but do it something that you can scan it um, so that it's not too soft. You want to have a pretty strong uh, contrast between your line and your background so that when you get into Photoshop, you can control things like Command L um, levels. I can pick layer one here and Command L gives me a shot at there is um, information here at the black end, not very much in the middle, and lots in the white end. And you can control that by lightening or darkening that you can see what happens to those lines as I go through there. So you want to have lots of control over um, the contrast that you've got here. So use a marker or something dark and work on white paper. And then when you scan it, you can clean that stuff up. Then what I did was um, kind of selectively, I went in and used the magic, magic wand tool here to say, okay, in layer one, I want to color the hockey stick. If I just click on that, you see I get the whole shape in layer one that I can then use. I can shift and add the other end of it. I can shift there. So now I've got the pieces of the hockey stick that I want to color. Um, if I'm not happy with that selection or I'm worried that it's going to be too small, I can expand that, ex that uh, selection, select, modify, expand, and blow that up by say three pixels. You see what's happened. It's opened up that selection still um, underneath. So then if I went to, I could, I'll show you, I'll create a new layer here. And then um, I can either use um, a paint tool, like a brush here, and there's my blue color. I could paint that with my blue brush and it would stay inside that line. Um, or I could use a uh, fill, I could just go edit, fill and use that tool. You'll see what's happened is layer five is on top here. What I want is that layer to be underneath layer one. And I've set layer one to multiply right here in the layer attributes. So that means it'll take that blue color that's on layer five, multiply it with the black pixels that are on layer one and look like it's basically a filled in color cartoon like that. You see how that works. So that's how you end up doing that thing. I'm going to get rid of layer five and then show you the rest of what that looks like. So uh, deselect, command D. And then that's what I did with filling in the whole thing. Um, have a little bit of fun with the shadow so it looks like he's standing on something. And then create a background and get a little bit of a swoosh there. And you end up with something that, I don't know, it's not too bad. Thanks. See ya.